to make my micro bit dice, I've got a fresh make code project. Let's get rid of the on start and forever blocks. And instead, we're going to use one of the input blocks. We're going to use the on shake block. This uses the micro bits accelerometer input sensor to make something happen when you shake the micro bit. In this case, what we want to do is to show a number and we want a random number. So if you look in the maths category and scroll down, you'll find the pick random block and drop that in. A normal six sided die will roll between one and six. So let's make those our numbers and we'll try it out in the simulator. If you click on the shake button, we should see numbers between one and six appearing on the LED display. That's all there is to it for a simple micro bit die. So I can name it. I can download my project and transfer the hex file to my micro bit. Computers actually find it really difficult to make random numbers and it might make an interesting investigation to make a tally chart. Put this code on your micro bit, keep shaking it and see if you get the same number of rolls each time. Do you get as many sixes as you do ones? Is it truly random? See how good the micro bit is at making random numbers. You could also use this in your own games. You can make up your own board games. You don't need to roll between one and six. You could have a 20 sided die if you want. Um, or you could do an investigation into rolling two dice. So here you might want to change this to roll between two and 12 as if you're rolling two dice. Perhaps do another tally chart and see do you get the same number of scores each time? And is it any different if you actually roll two physical dice? Or is it different if you use your micro bit to roll two different numbers between one and six and add them together and then show the total on your micro bit display?